Hello, I'm Gary Siskar with Liquid Force. Welcome to our Liquid Force R&D sales and marketing epicenter in Hood River, Oregon. What I'd like to do for you today is show you how you will set up your happy foil board as a surf setup and also as a foil setup. So first thing, let's check out the happy board. So here's what we have right here. This is our happy foil board setup. Let's set it up like a surfboard right now. So what comes with the happy foil board is you got the board, it comes with three straps, a set of surf fins, and an FCS fin key, FCS compatible fin key. What you're gonna need to provide is a number three posi driver screwdriver. So this is a needed tool to set your board up. So let's set it up right now as a surfboard. What is beautiful about the happy foil board is you don't always have to ride it as a foil board. So if you get into a situation where the water's not deep enough, there's a lot of seaweed, a lot of eelgrass, or you just don't feel like foiling because it's blowing really, really strong, you can ride your board as a regular surf style board. So super easy to set up. It comes as a quad fin setup and we provide you with the fins. What you're gonna do is put the larger fins in the front of the board. So just press those in. What I always try to do is as I press these in, I tighten them up right away. Cause I have been guilty in the past of putting all the fins in first and then I forget to crank down a fin and then I go out and surf and I lose a fin and I wonder what's going on. And if you go lose a fin because of that, it is not under warranty. So don't call us about that. That's your fault. So every time I just kind of put jam these fins on in there, sometimes the screws are not all the way backed out. So you want to back it out, push it on in and crank it on down. Smaller fins are gonna go in the back. What's really cool about this fin set is they're it's a really nice versatile fin for surfing in this quad fin setup. So you have these nice bigger fins with a little bit of rake in them for drive and then these small trailers that will give you a lot of traction but yet the board is nice and loose. So there you go, now you're all set up to go and ride it as a surfboard. The other thing is if you wanna get, you can ride it strapless, go have a great time like that, or you can also set your board up either way you want with some straps. Since the board does come with three straps, you can set it for a three strap setup, which is probably for surfing not the best thing to do. Uh, that's more for a hydrofoil setup, or for strapped in surfing fun, you could mount it right in the center. So to mount that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your straps. We have an insert pattern here of three choices on where you want to be. You can use these inserts too to also either widen the strap out for adjustability so you can make it tight, you can make it more looped out so it's easier to get in and out of. Um, it's really to your preference. There's just a lot of adjustment here. The straps itself too have multiple holes in the strap so basically you can make it tighter or looser to your preference on how you want it to fit on your foot. So we do have a number three posi driver here. So to get this in, what you're gonna wanna do is find which hole you wanna be in. I always sort of go right in the center. Seems like the most versatile. Put that on in there, find the insert, and you just tighten her on down. These bolts are an M6, a metric six bolt so if you do lose your bolt you can go find an m6 bolt at your local hardware store and you're all good to go it's that simple to mount up your strap into the board front straps good to go we want back to the back strap watch out for the fins again what i try to do is line this up Really easy process. Try to match it so it's the same to your front ones. Okay, just match up the center here. Hold the neoprene back. That neoprene's on there so your foot never comes in contact with the with the lockdown washer or the bolt. 
There you are, now you're set up to go shred with some straps.